Hi, welcome to Paul's Tackle Reviews. My name's Paul Cresswell. The purpose of this YouTube channel is to give you some reviews of tackle that's been tested out on the bank by an unbiased, unsponsored angler, and that's me. As I say, with all of my reviews, just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you, but I'll try and give you all the information so you can make your own mind up. So today we're looking at the Matrix double-sided feeder box. Um, before we go any further, yes, I know you can use an empty ice cream tub to put everything in. That's fine. Or you can go to the other extreme and get the Guru feeder box, which seemed to prompt more debate than I've ever seen on the Maggot Drowning Forum. But this works for me better than just putting it in a tub, even a divided tub. This really does work for me. So I've had this uh, a couple of months now. It's been out a few times with me. Um, it's they're around twenty-five pound, and they're quite a nice-looking sort of piece of kit in terms of dimensions across. Across the top there, we're looking at 20 centimetres. We've got 26 down, and we've got around eight centimetres on the sides. So this has helped my fishing because when I used to have it in a tub, I could never find what I wanted exactly. And let's say the other day I was fishing and I was fishing with a an ICM and I felt it was too heavy and it was going into the sill so I just got in my box opened it up and straight away I could find a lighter one and that worked better so it encourages you to make changes to the way you're fishing that hopefully will result in a few more fish. I use the Preston ICS and ICM system and I've done a separate video on that if you want to have a look about how I use them and which ones I use. I've also got some normal cage feeders that I use. As I've said before, most of my fishing is up to kind of 40, 50 meters. So I'm not into window feeders and all the different types and sizes that you need of extra large methods, etc. I have a selection that covers me for the fishing that I do. So when I'm fishing and I'm not using this, it's quite nice because you can put it on its side and put it under your box. I've got one of the H frames, so there's room under my box and it's really easy to access and it isn't going to go anywhere. With all of the stuff I've got, this weighs two kilograms. I don't know the empty weight, but you can see the kind of weight that we're talking about. So it's nice and stable, but it's also a nice compact size to go in your carry-all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in close and open it up and show you how it works, how the clips work, how stuff is arranged in there for me. And then I'll come back and wrap up the video and talk about what's coming in the next couple of videos. So here we have the box and you can see it's got these yellow clips on the side. They're plastic. They're quite tight, which I like. Um, nothing's going to move. So if I open that up, you can then see there's in this side and both sides are different. This side, we've got a bigger space there I use for my method bowls. I've got some of my ICS stems there. I've then got some of my ICM stuff in those two, including the stems. I'm then on to my method feeders and bombs that, that I'm going to use on the ICS and some of the bigger feeders and the banjo feeders as well. Now, even those little stems there, You'd think they're rattle about, but it's so well made that that sits flush to there, so nothing moves around in transit if it's securely fastened. So 
to there you can see that was firm turning it over this side is a darker color hopefully you can still see that and this has got more like shoots to put stuff in you can see there I've got a load of cage feeders in I've also got uh, some more of the um, ICS pellet feeders so you can see how everything's arranged those two winders are simply uh, the running rig set up with a feeder link and about a meter of line that I attach to the end if I need to break down and put a running rig on rather than something direct using the ICM ICS method and I've got a couple of those and that's really handy as well so you can see stuff can move about but in there nothing's moving across this although that winder occasionally does move but realistically all of this stuff stays where it's put and there secure and done so i hope you found that interesting yes if you want to use an ice cream tub that's fine if you want to get the guru that's fine i'm giving you an option and it's up to you to make your own mind up whether that would work for you and help you in your fishing as i've said before i'm not a super organized angler but some things are really important for me to be organized and this is one of them otherwise this stuff and i just can't find it so i don't make the change that's it for today's videos i'm going to put up there a list of some of my other videos uh there's I, th I think we're up to 18 now but here's some of the more popular videos we're talking well over 30,000 views now lots of really good comments if you want to give me a like and a thumbs up that's great if you want to put a comment they're always great and if you put a question I will try and get back to you and give you my view and give you an answer the next couple of videos I'm looking at a couple of Preston's products and the first one is rod bands these are the world champion ones where the, you put them on the end either end of your ready made up rod they're elasticated in between and they fasten and they really protect your rods and importantly protect your tips so a little something to go through and when I was doing my uh, trolley video somebody's asked if I could look at the Supera ready rod hold all I've got the four rod version 1.9 meters i haven't had it that long but it's been out and i think i've got to grips with it so happy to review that in the video after that until next time tight lines <laughs>